Oh, I think we're live. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> I think we're live. Oh, I got to get back to my chat room here. So, what's up? <laughs> This is a terrible hello to Ashley. So hello, everyone, and welcome to another Hi, third day. Today is Thursday, and you're stuck with me and my occasional co-host, Dacia. So welcome, Dacia. Who's going to be cooking later? Oh, boy. <clears throat> what are you cooking? Oxtail. Oxtail. So we're going to show everyone how you cook In the oxtail. crock pot. We're In just going to yeah, we're gonna, I'm just going to show you real quick. It's going to go in the crock pot. So it's like a quick fry it and like forget it for like six hours, eight hours. Okay. <clears throat> and I heard that uh, your daughter, Camry, is going to be helping. I'm going to make her do most of the work and I'm going to record it. So that's gonna okay. Be fun. All right. So we're going to see Camry making uh, oxtail and stuff. So, all right. <laughs> And of course, like every other uh, food show, you already have one secretly done somewhere. I'm yeah. assuming. I yeah. was smart enough to at least do that. I really yeah. didn't know how else to do any of it, like how I was going to like break it down. So I have one already prepared. And then right. you're supposed to marinate. You have to marinate it for like eight hours to overnight. So I'm like, well, how am I going to do that? And then fry it. How would I show you how to do the marinade? So I have it already marinated. I'll just tell you what's in the marinade. And then yeah. show you how you quick do a quick, like brown it real quick and then throw it in the crock pot. And okay. And then set it and forget it. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever's the easiest, I guess. That's so. what I figure. Anything that makes life easier, especially when you've got, and you're feeding a lot of people, crock pots are nice. In the wintertime, they're nice. I love the crock pot. I grill a lot in the summer, but I use mm -hmm. a crock pot. I use a crock pot in the winter. Whatever's easier, I guess. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, let's see a few more people on here. So my sister Heather is on. Hello. Uh, Christopher Hello. Cowell from Fort Myers, Florida is with us. So oh, oh. that alarm's going off. I got to go check that too. Oh. Uh, Ashley, hello, welcome. Chris Evans, hello, Brian Adacia, hello, my aunt, hello, welcome. So we're going to do something that we've never done before, that I've never done on this show before. Uh, I've never with, done it at all. Yeah, what, or with anyone that I've uh, co hosted with. So we're going to be cooking food, believe it or not. So, um, yeah. So. We're going to be doing oxtail, which you could pair oxtail with any technically any kind of side, right? Because from what I hear from my one of my sisters, Kayla, who actually eats oxtail as well, um, yeah, she has it with collard greens and macaroni and cheese. I've heard that, but you know what? I'll be honest with you, I've never actually had collard greens before, so I'm not going to lie. I've okay. had. Uh, I usually like, okay, so the first time I had oxtail was at a place in uh, Albany that, and I got it with like fried plantains and then the uh, rice and uh, they call rice and peas, which is what I'm actually making. I'm not showing you guys how to do that, but I'm making that to go with it tomorrow when we actually eat all this. But that's what I had it served with. But I've heard it served with other things. I, I went into a place where you can pick your sides. Yeah. So. But yeah, you. I guess you could. I'm like I said. I'm serving it with the rice and peas, but it's actually rice and uh, kidney, uh, kidney beans. I had to soak them overnight. Now I'm boiling them. All that fun stuff. Fantastic. It's like it's just beef, oxtail. It's like you'll see. It looks a little funky watching them cut it up because you get it like at the. Well, I go to okay. I shop at Big Y. That's where I get it from. And I get it from the um see now I was reading I guess I checked. Uh I get it from the butcher. But you can get it over you can usually find some over and with the beef at Big Y. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> I mean, uh, well, like I said, I mean, I've never had anything cooked on the show before. 
for people to see. So I'm kind of excited on, on how this is going to uh, work out. So. Oh, uh, sure. You're excited because you're not doing it. Cause I'm like, right. like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. So. Well, in my defense, I technically, all right, I lied. So I have cooked. I, well, yeah, because you know what? I think I seen you do something with like pudding or jello or or something. You did something. A pie? I don't know. You did something on the thing. I remember watching you do something a while back ago. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. I don't even know. I can't remember. I, I, I uh, taught people how to do quesadillas, chicken quesadillas. Simple and easy. That's one thing that I did. I think I remember you saying something about that, too. Yeah. And I made some sort of dessert or something. I can't remember what it was. But all right. So maybe I have cooked things. But not food food. Always so what eat. was this? Was this a, was this pretend food? <laughs> <laughs> was this food not at all? What were you making, Brian? I'm no. confused. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Like oxtail is something that you would serve for dinner. So oh, I think okay. that one was easy. I did fudge one time. I did. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was a quick fudge with marshmallow or something. I don't know. Mine doesn't have it. marshmallow in it. Mine's only. Then no. So then no, that's not what it was. I know I made fudge that way, but I, I don't remember what the heck you did. Okay. I don't uh, remember. All right. Yeah. Well. I'll be making stuff. I want to make stuff in the crock pot. I really do because I've never used a crock pot before. Never. I know. I know. Never. I think I insulted the woman, uh, the crock pot lady that I had on the show last year because uh, I told her, I said, well, I don't use a crock pot. Never. Oh, everyone should have a crock pot. It's like, I don't I agree with that one. statement. You really, sh everybody really should because it makes things so much easier. You can literally yeah. just put it in in the morning. <clears throat> let it cook all day long makes things so much i mean if you cook at home i don't know if you are the type to like actually cook your meals you know what i mean no no i don't really do too much cooking so somebody else does the damien probably does all the cooking or his mom i don't really cook anything i cook all the time i just observe or help stir something Oh, well, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's not true. Wait, I lied again. That's not true. I do when I want. You're like a freaking liar. Everything, liar. everything you say is a lie. <laughs> what I want. It flows out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> when I want cheeseburgers, I'll make the cheeseburgers. I'll do that. So I'm pretty good at that. So, yeah. All right. Are you so, talking? Are you talking like with like ground beef and you're actually making patties or you buy like the already done patties from like Walmart and just fry them? What? How dare you? Yeah. All right. It's Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I do. I do that too on the grill. I'm not going to lie. Making a good Walmart. burger with ground beef is hard because you got to get like enough fat in there. Otherwise they're all like dry and Drink. terrible. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want. Although that. then again, you like them terrible anyways because you cook them till they're completely dead, and it's a shame to beef. But you know, no, it's not really a shame to beef. So, but I do love the Walmart burgers. They are my favorite. They don't Me too. and they cook very nicely. So I, I get agree. The, I think it's yellow, yellow or blue pack. I get the, the red. Less fat I get, but they don't shrink. I love them. I cook them on the grill. I've cooked for my aunts, my sisters on the grill. Oh, I love cooking on the grill. It's my favorite. Me so too. Yeah, chicken too. I like barbecue chicken and all that good stuff. Not on the bone, but you know. <laughs> what is it with the whole not liking people and not liking meat on bones? I just don't understand that. But you know what? Here's the thing. I love chicken. Chicken's my favorite, it, along with beef. Oh my god, she hit the button again. But uh, I don't. Um, I don't care for meat on the bone. It's disgusting. But yeah, I'll I'll eat a teriyaki wing or a buffalo wing or something. You know. I don't mind that. She needs to come back. Stop hitting the button. Listen, I was trying to go back to the sure. recipe that I was using for this because this is the first time I've done this one. And I hit the back button to try to get 
listen, we're not going to talk about it. Okay. I'm going to try yeah. not to hit the button. Right. Yeah. So. Mark. Not, but what, what kind of what were you talking about? What did I miss? Meat on the bone. I just pretty much said that I, I'll eat. I love chicken, so it's chicken breast, boneless, um, whatever. But here's the thing: I do like chicken wings. I will eat a teriyaki wing or a buffalo wing. Oh yeah, I'll gnaw, gnaw those things to the bone. But other than that, I ugh, nope, I won't do you it. No, I <clears> thought <throat> the same way about chicken breasts. Until like I actually, when you cook it with the skin on and the bone in, and you do it with just like olive oil, salt, and pepper, and you roast it in the oven, that is like my favorite way to cook. Just chicken in general, whole chicken, chicken, chicken breast on on the bone though. It comes out so much more tender that way and juicy. I'm telling you, it's not. It doesn't dry out like it does mm. when you get just the breast without the without the bone without the skin. You can always take it off afterwards. You just take it off the damn bone. That's true. That's true, but it's too much work. Uh, let's see. And it's cheaper if you do it yourself, because when you buy it and it's already done, you get charged more. Yeah, well, I don't pay for it. So moving on. Oh, my word. <laughs> Daniel Payton says, hello. Sorry I missed Monday. Finally feeling like I am on the uphill side of this illness. Well, I hope so. I hope you get better and come back. Oh, yeah. Do your shows and because I miss them and... Gives me something to do, so. Oh, I can do the mac and cheese, Kayla. I can do a baked mac and cheese. I still, I'm going to have to try making collard greens. There you go. I don't That's going to have to be on my, on my list of things yeah, to make. That's true. All right. Me. <clears throat> so, we have some oxtail to get to. So oh, okay, yeah. Let's, Let me. Let's start this process. All right, so and, hold on. Camry. Okay. You're going to come out and help me. Don't forget, you can turn the camera. Yes, that's when what I'm going to do, too. Do I am going to do that. I'm just, my fridge isn't the cleanest. <laughs> so I'm going to wait a second until she comes out. Let me see you if better, I can remember how to do this. You better turn your uh, kitchen into a studio kitchen. Look, there we go. Look at that. Okay. So I'm waiting for her to come out. But where did I stick the oxtail? Hold on. I got way too much stuff up in here. Oh, stuff up in here. Uh, while I'm we're waiting for, I'm waiting yeah. for her to come out. Yeah. So while we're waiting oh, for her, uh, <clears throat> Daniel Payton says most likely won't be doing the show tomorrow, but I hope to be able to go live on Monday. Well, I hope so. I hope to see you on Monday. That would be nice, Daniel. So. Um, yeah. Okay. So now you're going to be on camera. I have it turned around. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell her what to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So turn the, you're going to turn this pan on. We're going to heat up oil. So go up in that cabinet up there and grab the regular oil. Okay. See, now this is oxtail. Mind you, I, you have to rub it down with a marinade. So you use like soy sauce up there in the top. Hold on. I am not a good cameraman at all. It's not up there. You're right. We moved everything. I rearranged my kitchen. And now I'm trying to remember where we stuck everything. Okay. Hold on there. Where did he put? Oh, wait. You know what? All right, so anyways, uh, I'm supposed to marinate the oxtail. Put like a two tablespoons of oil in there. Uh, the oxtail in brown sugar, soy sauce, uh, Worcestershire sauce, salt, garlic powder, pepper, allspice, and then browning like uh, gravy, gravy master. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that before, but and then you marinate it for like eight hours. But this one I did not because I cheated. Because I already did one ahead of time. But yeah. then you got it. You got to move the camera over. I can't see the oxtail. I know. I'm trying to do two things at once here. You mix it around and I'll. And I'll. There's Camry. Whoop, whoop. What's and that? her red mullet. Yeah, I see that. Very nice. Very nice color. 
She walked and she got her septum and her other nostril pierced yesterday. I got it for her for Christmas, so it's looking awesome. And then those are those sexy oxtail, the big fat juicy ones. But see how I was telling you some of them are like, like, cause it's like, it comes, it's a big tail when he cuts it. I watched him slice it. And then there's like little tiny pieces. So you got to be careful because obviously some are going to cook quicker than others. And then that should be good for now. And then check the pan to see if it's hot enough. Like take one and take one of them and stick it to the pan. If it sizzles a little bit, then you know it's ready because you want a hot pan. So you brown them. Take it out. Give it one more second. You want to get it really hot because you just brown it before you put it in. All right. So the oxtail have, they cut it up for you. That's the way it comes for people who don't. Yep. You do the marinade, which I'll have to get the marinade ingredients from you later on, and then I'll post it for people to uh, figure out. So this marinades for eight hours. Yeah, right? well, eight okay. hours to overnight, yeah. Okay, so this is something you're going to want to do and just leave it overnight then. So, yeah. All right, so now you got a pan, you've got some oil. We're going to... Yeah, I'm using a cast iron, and I use, like, uh, two tablespoons of oil. That's good. Go ahead and take all of them. And then you're just gonna do a quick brown on them. Okay. So that's what she's doing, sticking them up in the pan. Get this thing on here, then I spray so red. That's how it makes you feel. I know it's funny because she does not cook at all. So. Good way to learn. So she's doing big girl things right now. Well, I don't know. I don't well yeah. Yeah, she's she's the master of microwaving things. Me too. So, all right. Good. So she's frying it up. And then this is this stuff. I guess I'm not gonna explain it, but the first time I've made this, but it's the beans. This takes an eternity to do. When you do dry beans, it takes forever. Hmm. So you're just you're just lightly browning them. Is that what you're doing? Searing them on each side? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna turn it back around for now. Since it's gonna take a second for her to brown it. So. Sure. So like oh, I was yeah. so like I was saying earlier, you can make any side with this. This goes pretty much with anything, right? So we got I would so. collard greens and mac yeah. and cheese. I've heard and, that baked mac and cheese. That makes <clears> sense. <throat> yeah, a baked macaroni and cheese. That sounds good. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. That's like one of my favorite meals: baked mac and cheese. Before the surgery, that was like my. That was like my weakness. Baked mac and cheese. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Ooh, manicotti. I haven't had that in a while. Ooh, that's Am I talking view. about manicotti over here? I'm getting hungry. And you know, it's funny because I made this. Like I said, I made the other one so that way through the magic of whatever it could already be done. And I was supposed to eat it for dinner, but then I was like, oh, there's not even enough there. So we ended up eating Taco Bell for dinner. So all this is going to be eaten tomorrow. It's a tail. Yeah. No, just keep with, like, roast, turn, turn all of them over. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to go in there anyway. You're just browning it. You want to brown each side. So, Daniel, brown uh, is good. You said kidney beans is what you're making. Is that what those were? Um, oh, yeah. The kidney beans, that's going to go with the uh, rice for the whole rice and tea. But you also put, when it comes to the oxtail, you put it in the crock pot. I do it with carrots, onions, and uh, at the end for like the last like half hour, 40 or 45 minutes, you put butter beans in, which are kind of like a lima bean, but mm -hmm. way better. Like, I don't like lima beans. But I like butter beans. They're good. They're like a fat lima bean. Yeah. Interesting. Black eyed peas. I'm sure you could have probably. I don't know. I personally, like, I like beans in general. But I seen them on my kidney, and I'm like, ooh, I like kidney beans. Could do that. My cousin does them with a, uh, forgot what they're called, but they're a little green pea. I don't know. 
Oh, and then, yeah, and then look at, we got Camry. And his boyfriend's here too, okay. Look at their twinsies. Twinsies. Yeah, I saw the picture. I broke the pair of How's our ox oh, coming along? Well, it, it's coming along. She's doing good. Good. Just want to steer it real, like, real quick just to get it brown. It smells really good. I'm not even going to lie. It tastes delicious. Like, yeah. I'm solving already. I picked up that taco bottle, so I probably wouldn't want to do it. All right. Good enough. So then, look, I'm going to move this over here for you. Let's make it a little bit easier. Yeah, Nick, why don't you hold it for her? And you can put it in the crock pot. So she's going to do that. So she's sticking it in the crock pot. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it back around so then she can pay attention to that. It's okay. Keep going because then in a second, I got the... <laughs> keep going because then you got to deglaze the pan here. Take that brown... Take the brown spoon there and scrape the bottom. And then, Nick, you can go put that over inside the crock pot. Then you stick it in the crock pot. So were you referring to, what is it, lentils or split peas? Is that what you were talking about? Wait a minute, so, where are you at? Down at the bottom there, Chris. Lentils? No, oh, not, a, not oh, lentils. Not. I, I think it started with a P, like the name of the, I can't even remember. Yeah, okay. So now take pot holders carefully and dump that into the crock pot. That side and that side. What is she doing? No, split pea, no, but I do know what split peas are. I make split, well, my mother makes split pea soup quite often. Why can't I exit out of this? Will you touch that and see if it'll exit? Because it's not letting me. And if I touch that, it's going to do it. Yeah, just dump it right in. If I touch anything else, it's going to, like, back me out. This is what I get, folks. Hold on. This is getting interesting. Oh, there she is. What happened no, then? And Cameron's it's my fine. witness. It froze it's and it wouldn't let me it wouldn't let me touch the X I, or anything. I backed out, not her. That was foolish. I don't know what was going on. But then yeah, so you stick that in the crock pot and then uh So what else is going in the crock oh, pot? Though? Okay, so then then you gotta mix a cup of the broth with like a tablespoon of ketchup and some thyme. Like dried thyme and you stick that in there with carrots and onions depending on how you want to do it like okay so I like my vegetables a little bit more like I like a bite to my carrot when I eat it I don't like it all like mushy soggy right. I know yeah. planner, anytime you put carrots and or potatoes into a crock pot and you put them in in the beginning when it tells you to it to me they they're just too too mushy right like even cabbage whatever with corned beef so i wait until like the last two hours and then i put the carrots and the onions in and let them cook that way and then at the very end like the last half an hour that's when you put the uh butter beans in because the the butter beans don't take very long and uh you add cornstarch and water to thicken it and that's it and then i'll show you what it looks like in a second too i figure i might as well complete this how long part. are you cooking this for uh see now that's where it's a variable because the last time I did that, normally I do these in large batches because I feed all of us. So it's usually seven, like six to seven pounds. But this time I broke it up because I wanted to make sure I had one already prepared and then one to uh, cook for. So the, this last one only took six hours and they it also had smaller pieces. So anywhere between six and eight hours on long. Okay. And then it's like the okay. Camry, come here. Grab a 
Wait. Yeah, you could. And you're going to try some of the oxtail, too. Because I'm going to I'm gonna have Nick try the oxtail. So, anyways, you put it in the thing, right? Oops, in here. And then the, the, take the lid off the other one for me while I mix this one up. Yes, don't, no, 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 push it back and then just unlock that side and the other side. I've never used this one. Oh, that one blocks. This one does not. Just tilt it. Okay. Yes. It is. Here. Go ahead. Where I'm serving? Yes, you're going to take one out. Just this whole middle piece right there. Because it's like, it falls apart when it's been cooking for so long. And this one I cooked like a long, long time. Okay, you can have them fried too. That's good. That's what I'm saying. It all like falls apart. And these were smaller pieces. And it's got a little bit of spice in it because you they like it usually calls for like a, a scotch bonnet, but I can never find scotch bonnet peppers. I can only ever find a habanero. I don't know why that is. For some reason. I don't know. But now he's, oh yeah, see, now why didn't I show you that? See, now you guys can actually see. It looks like pot roast, basically. Tastes like it, too. Yeah, pretty much. It's just a different color. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it does have a little bit of spice. Spice, right? That's because, spice. see, well, because in normally you, like, cut it, cut up the pepper and put it in, but I leave it, like, I have it and scoop out the seeds and then just leave the whole pepper in there so I could take it out afterwards so you're not getting bits of the pepper. I like it though, because it's like spicy on the tip of your tongue, but not on the back. Those are the butter, the butter beans. They're like a lima bean, but more tender. You, you don't know, like that? It's, it's like a, it's like a, almost like mashed potatoes. I should have had it on her. Would that, would that look that she gave well, trying a butter a, bean? That not, was funny. It's not a bad bean. Or it's not, it's like, it's not a bad bean, but it wasn't ex I wasn't expecting a whole bunch of like stuff to pop out of it. It was like mashed potatoes came out of. Are you still there? I'm listening to her. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. I couldn't tell if you could hear her or not. So. Yes. Yeah, and that's because you put it in at the end. Otherwise, you put the vegetables in too early, and they're like, it's like baby food. I don't want to eat mushy carrots. So yeah, that's what you do, okay? So now y'all seen that. I am not Rachel Ray by any means. <laughs> yeah, go hibernate. Close enough. Close so enough. So she's she's going to hibernate now. So that was the end of that. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to have to get the recipe from you. Yeah, almost definitely. And I will yeah, make sure post it so people can Put this in the refrigerator. Please. I'll open it. Do you have any questions about the oxtail or anything, maybe cooking-wise, that Dacia can answer? Anyone? Because yeah, I probably didn't explain it very well. I'm not... Well, I'm yeah, right? Ooh, it'll fit. Hold on. I gotta move everything. And you wanted to try the coconut milk, Nick? You can try it if you want. It's unsweetened, by the way. Not gonna fit? Great. So now I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna... No, wait! Oh, no, 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 no. Could you know why, Camry? Because the insert comes out of that. Not the whole crock pot. Just the insert. Just the ceramic. Come back out. Come back yeah, out with a whole it. thing. It's a whole thing. It like comes out like the it in it's an insert. This part plugs in, but that part pull out. It's just a pan, a ceramic. There I used the crop before. Yeah, look at she's learning so many things today. <laughs> look at me doing motherly things. It should. There you go. Just and when you close it, it should. Was that? <clears throat> so, ta-da, that's it. All done. Okay. 
Don't be so quiet. Don't be so quiet? Don't be so quiet. <laughs> I'm usually not quiet, so. I know, right? I know. We are our... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, let's see who's on here. I know Ashley said that she likes to eat it. I know that Kayla said that she likes to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. Um, I'm actually going to ship some. Like you'll have to, you'll have to get some from me tomorrow, so you can give some. Uh, I'll make sure that a, a little bit can go to. You said Ashley and Kayla, right? Eat it, eat it. Yes, as far as I know, yeah. So I'll ship some. RR. Oh, okay. You don't need to be RR. Okay, I got you. Rachel Ray. Rachel oh, Ray. Good. Oh. oh, wow. Well, whatever. I didn't get it either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll come. Well, your sister apparently understood. Yeah, yeah. Or my sister can grab it from you because I don't think I'll be going to Pittsfield tomorrow. <gasps> Oh, um, okay. Hey, whatever works. <clears throat> I did my running around today, so no running around for me tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah. yeah. Are you guys staying here tonight, by the way? Okay. All right. Oh, that's right. All right. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for eating my food and, and frying stuff for me. Now she's going to hibernate in her bedroom once again. Mm -hmm. That's what Camry's good at. Well, teenager. it's not worth on the agenda. What's yeah. agenda no, I have no idea. We don't have that much longer to go, anyways. So, oh, this is true. Uh, yeah. So, are you still planning on making something else? What do you mean? Next time. Next time, is there going to be a next time for you cooking something? Didn't you say something about a cake or something? Oh, yeah. I plan on making a chiffon cake. Yeah. That's the next. I've never made that before. And I'm going to make a, what was it? It's like Wellington something buttercream, but it's got orange liqueur in it and orange. orange okay. So I'm I was like, telling Ooh. somebody about it. I was, yeah, I was telling somebody. Who the hell was I telling? I think my aunt or something. So I can't wait for uh, that. That sounds good. That I will come to Pittsfield for. <laughs> so I'm make sure yeah. save you some. I might like convert it into cupcakes because you know how I got a thing for cupcakes. Chiffon like, cupcake. I, I, yeah, I'd rather make a cupcake than an actual cake. That seems a little bit easier, I would think, for people. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you go. So that'll be for next time. And uh, I can't wait for that. I like the sweet stuff. So I haven't been baking a lot. I should. You should. Baking is therapeutic. It's good for you. and But then again, it can get be expensive, too. It's expensive, and it's not good for me. Because I won't serve, I don't like serving stuff to people without like knowing what it tastes like. And then I eat too much of it and then it makes me sick. So I like sugar. Sugar don't like me. Yeah. No, no sugar for you. So, yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, does anyone have any questions that are watching? Did I forget to mention that this is also live on YouTube? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oops. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> so yeah, whatever. My face is already all over yeah. Facebook. So why not add? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Not throw it out there. I totally forgot about that. So, yeah. Um, anybody? Any questions? I know there's a delay, so I'll wait to see if anyone has any questions and, and whatnot. So, and I also forgot to ask. Um, I did this last time, um, asking for people to come up with ideas or topics that you know you think that Daisy and I should talk about. That's oh, yeah. Um, I am planning on having. I don't know. Did she freeze? She froze. Wait a she, minute. No, you're fine. Um, <clears throat> 
I, I still plan on having guests <clears throat> on the show. So if anyone has any ideas of what type of guests you would like on the show, that would also be uh, important uh, to know. So let us know. I know we did the cooking. That worked out very well. Paranormal. We did that. I don't know if you're into the paranormal. So, yeah. I, People I don't know. Read books, right? There's what? You read books, right? When you can. Me, yeah. Yeah. So That's you... what I was trying to do, the book club. But that whole idea does not work. Because I started it. And then didn't even bother like i it's trying to find the time to sit down and actually read a book actually paying for the book folks i know and so did i i actually pay for amazon kindle or something like that like uh, unlimited or something like that i don't know yeah. and i got the audio but then that's what was confusing me is i'm i'm reading the book when i had time and then i was trying to listen to the audio as i was driving dashing around but then like I would hit the button and it would go back and it would move a page and it would throw off where it was reading. And I was like going back and rehearing things I already heard. And I'm like, okay, this is frustrating. Forget it. So um, I kind of gave up. I stopped at like chapter five or something. Not only that, but I don't know if it was because the book that I was reading itself, I kind of wasn't a hundred percent into only because I kept picturing like the movie already yeah. so it's kind of hard all right i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest i got to chapter 14 so we were reading i don't know what is it called uh oh. midnight uh midnight sun no uh yeah right wait yes it's, midnight it's, sun. i have I it right so. here so midnight sun by stephanie myers who is the author of the twilight series so she came out with a separate book which is called Midnight Sun. And Midnight Sun is Edward Cullen's perspective throughout the book, what he saw, what, you know. But when you're reading it, and I don't want to give too much away if people haven't read it or whatever, but right. you, know, you see things from the movie and it's like, oh, wait, I remember that scene. <clears throat> but it's him telling you. It's not right. uh, Bella. You Bella. Know. <laughs> Right. So yeah. Which is, it's nice and all, but it's like, well, I've already been there, done that. I don't know. Maybe that's just I kind of was like Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. But I also was like sitting there like it was my idea to do it. And then I'm sitting there going, I don't even I haven't read in forever. I the last time I read well, I've read all of Augustine Burroughs' books, like Running the Scissors and The Wolf at the Table. Like I've read all those. Those were really my favorite. I love him. I don't know why. But other than that, I haven't read like a good, good book in a long time where it's like. Really I have to get her to use a different device other than her phone. Uh, Daniel, I believe she said that it does fall off the bone during the cooking process, but I'm, I'm going to re-ask her. So just to uh, we, uh, cut you off for one second, Anne was wondering. Yeah, uh, he's never cooked oxtail. Does it fall off the bone during the cooking process? Okay, so if you like overcook it, it's like a, a anything that you cook in the crock pot. Like if you cook it too long, but yeah, it falls off the bone. It falls off the bone. Okay, so that's if you want to eat oxtail like falling off the bone because do you necessarily well, I mean I don't know I don't know if you don't cook it long enough I've always cooked like any like chuck roast or oxtail like for like six to eight hours and it always falls it just falls apart the meat fall always falls apart okay and do you have to cook it in a crock pot no you don't have to you could put it in a uh those air fryers or whatever what is it a pressure oh pressure cooker pressure cooker you could do it in that okay but i don't have a pressure cooker i have a crock pot so i tend to use crock pots for a lot of things i do my corned beef in the crock pot and i do spaghetti you can do spaghetti sauce in the crock pot yeah you can do anything in a crock pot you can do a cake in a crock pot did you know that no, I just not know that. You can, Don't you can, do, you, do, you can do a cake in a crock pot. <laughs> you can do a lot of things in a crock pot. 
all it is is low heat. You're cooking something with low heat, low and slow. You could do it in an oven if you wanted to. You, could, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you could fry like brown the oxtail and then cook it in the oven in a shallow pan with like uh, just enough liquid, probably halfway up with foil over top. You could probably do that and cook it low and slow, probably at like, you know, like 325 or something for like an extended period of time. I don't know. Okay. I That's would think probably start at like 400 to get it hot for the first 30 minutes, drop the temperature down to like mm -hmm. 325 and then cook it low and slow. I'm, I'm assuming you probably could. I just figured for the sake of the show and whatever, like to make it just quick and easy and to make it like a theme, like, you know, crock pot. Cake, yes, cake in a crock pot. I've seen it on Facebook a really long time ago. Pot roast, po uh, pork roast, meatballs, yep. Oh, yeah, and I can do uh, a kibasa that you do with barbecue sauce and grape jelly, and it's actually really yeah. good. Yeah, I've had that. Yeah, you can do it with the cocktail weenies, or you can cut up kibasa and do it that way. Or you can do a, a molasses and honey mixture uh, and do kibasa like that, too. Never had that, but I've had you can also, one. But I've had it as meatballs, though. Somebody does a meatball one too. You could do a Swedish meatball in the crock pot too. Swedish, you could do. Yep. You could do anything in the freaking crock pot. Those things are amazing. Everybody should have a crock pot. So I think what I'm going to do is for the next show, I will be making something. I will make something. Okay, that's a okay. good idea. So I, I think that. All right. So yeah, that's what I'm going to make. Wait, what are you going to make? I don't know what I'm going to make. Um, oh. All right, hold on. Let me see here. Because I do have a recipe book. And what I bought the crock uh, ladies cookbook. Uh, and Stephanie O'Day is her name. And she is known, like I told you, she's the crock pot lady. And one of her books was Five Ingredients or Less Slow Cooker Cookbook is the name of it. So I bought it. I'm like, nice. well, if we got five ingredients and it can be done in a crock pot, I'll try it. I'll do it, you know? So, right. Um, she's got breakfast peppers, broccoli and cheese quiche, an egg boat, uh, grits, ham and cheese, casserole, ooh, peach jam, pumpkin butter, pumpkin butter. Oh, I did an apple butter in the crock pot, too. Really? Oh, I forgot about oh that. God. So, and people, it is, it makes four cups and it's only five ingredients. I'm so, all right. Anyways, um, so we have simple granola, oatmeal, uh, strawberry applesauce. We have soups and stews, baked potato soup. Oh my God, that's my favorite. Well, actually, that's not my favorite. Lobster bisque is my such a liar. What is this a theme Lob tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you keep calling me out like that. <laughs> uh, you don't like it? <laughs> hey, I've been behaving. Um, no, lobster bisque is my absolute favorite soup, I would assume. Um, oh, you like lobster. I do like lobster. You know, oh. I'll eat lobster and scallops and shrimp and all that good stuff. Oh, Maybe yeah. I did talk to you about that. Yeah, that was last show. Oh, well. You know, yeah. brain cells. So there's so many different things. So I think that mm -hmm. um, somebody would have to, like, think of something and, and come up. I'll just make something. Something that I'm going to want to eat. So, because some of the stuff I'm not going to eat. So. You're too picky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to see this because it's something. I'm trying to oh, French onion soup. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. But yeah. So, anyways, I I will definitely have to make something. So, yeah. Had mom do the weenies with barbecue sauce and grape jelly in the crock pot, and they were good. And I don't like grape jelly. Grape I think jelly. that's the only yeah. other time that I would probably eat grape See? jelly. It is good. It is, it is good. good. It is. So There's something about it. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, she, I mean, I've never really looked. At, I mean, she's got side dishes, um, and all everything in here is supposed to be with the crock pot. This is unbelievable. The amount of things I have one too. Not the same, obviously, not the same uh, lady. But I think I have a crock pot. Crock pot somewhere. You can make your own ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. Your own ketchup, you said? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. You can make your own mayonnaise, too. Are you doing in the crock pot? Yes. Ketchup in the crock pot. <laughs> okay. I'm I don't know. I don't know. So, okay, well, you know, I think what I'm going to do is probably pick something and I'm going to make it in the crock pot and show everyone. It can't be that difficult. No. Cabbage soup? No, thank you. I love cabbage, but I'm not going to eat cabbage soup. What? Because it gives me gas. Oh, it does. I think everybody does. I'm not. It's like one of those things, cab the Brussels sprouts, cabbage, mushrooms. Broccoli. Broccoli. Mm, oh my god. And I love broccoli. I love broccoli. Broccoli don't love me. There's a difference. Gives me a stomach ache and everything. It's so bad. Oh, she's it's got so like good, but so bad. Macaroni and cheese dish. Baked macaroni and cheese dish. So, anyways, I'm I, I think what I'm gonna do is is, is find something uh, and make it for next week. Mm -hmm. Have it um whatever so i guess burton did a lasagna my brother-in-law makes what lasagna in the crock pot is that what people are talking about in the crock pot oh yeah. i've never used one so it's it's funny well if people are making stuff in the crock pot then go for it i guess <clears throat> so yeah fantastical yeah um so yeah that's what i'll do i'll make some. i gotta stop eating i gotta get out of the kitchen yeah it's time to get out of the kitchen so yeah. uh all yeah, right so if anyone has any questions for oxtail later on uh if you can think of a question or whatnot just make sure you post it because we will still see your comments afterwards and i'm pretty sure dacia will answer any questions that you guys have about anything that she does uh, uh course yeah absolutely i will try to get the recipe for this dish from days to so that way i can post it maybe later because i'm pretty sure people are going to want the uh recipe for i don't know maybe the marinara sauce maybe they want to use it for something else other than ox oh the, the marinade yeah that too so but it seemed like it was pretty simple straightforward or just the time though that's a lot of time Eight hour marinade and then cook it for another six hours. I know well, you get it and forget it. Just do it. So like get it all done and ready and marinated like the night before or the morning of. Because it's eight eight hours, eight hours to overnight. And then I don't know. I just did it like I had it already done uh last night marinating and then I put it in the small I browned it this morning. Mm. Marinated it last night. Then I browned it this morning and stuck it in the crock pot. Then I went to work and then I came back and it was done. And then this one I marinated when I got back. So it yeah. didn't sit as long, but it's going to sit overnight now in the crock pot because I'm not going to cook it till tomorrow morning. So it'll work out. There you go. There you go. Well, I'm also excited for this chiffon cake. I don't. I haven't had a chiffon cake. Well, cupcakes. I should say now because now you're gonna do cupcakes, which I think would be easier for people or a cake. Either one. I'll take either one. I like cupcakes. It's so much cupcakes. easier, and I can transport and give everybody a little something. And I like piping cupcakes better than cakes. I don't know. I like cupcakes. Yeah. I have yeah. a thing for them. There you go. Uh, okay. Well. And if anyone wants anything made for her to make it or myself, let me know. Uh, I'll willing to try anything, I guess. Well, within reason. I'll never cook anything fish. That's pretty much about it. So, but uh, yeah. So, yep. That's about it. 
I have never heard of that kind of cake. Chiffon, a chiffon cake. Is that a bougie cake? That's a bougie cake, right? Bougie. Chiffon. Now she's frozen. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you see me? You are frozen, but that's okay. You're looking straight at me, so it's good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't want it frozen. It's fine. Uh, okay, anyways, I was... Well, maybe I shouldn't text while I'm on here. You're texting? Yes. Well, yes, of course. That's why you are frozen, probably. Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me close that out then. Go back. Oh, where is it? Okay. There you are. Sorry. Okay. No texting okay. while on the show, I guess. I'll leave that alone. So anyway, what were you saying? What is a chiffon cake? Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like angel food cake. It's like a, you beat the egg whites. So it kind of gives it more air. So it's a little bit like foamy like i don't know how to explain it it's like yeah. a if you've ever had angel food cake kind of like that similar i've seen them making it on one of the i i'm addicted to watching anything that's like baking challenge whether it's food network cooking channel netflix whatever anytime and especially like the holiday ones like christmas and and halloween i'm a sucker for all those ones but they one of them did a a chef on cake with the thing. And I was like, Ooh, I've never done that before. So I'm going to give it a try. Why go. not? Yeah, absolutely. I think that, that would be fun. So it would be. Yeah. But my hobbies are expensive. All my hobbies are always expensive. That's usually how it goes. Yeah. My hobby's expensive. <laughs> I buy and I like butter. Like I'm a butter like fanatic. I love buying all different types of butter. It's expensive. Butter's not cheap. And I buy good eggs. When I bake, I do like I try to make sure that I use like good product, especially if I'm doing it for somebody when somebody requests it. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to touch any text messages. Last time I touched that, screwed everything up. Uh, well, you just go frozen. That's all you do. I can still. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to leave it. I'll wait. We only got a couple more minutes, anyways. Yes, we have a couple of more minutes left. So, all right. Well, then there's that. So, next time we'll be. Uh, Why is somebody we... upset? It says, who? Somebody named Sandy Cheek. Well, I am pissed now. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything. I have no idea why she's pissed. Sandy Cheek, you're always in here saying something. God only knows what's wrong with you now. So that's usually how it goes. But oh, I don't, know. I don't know who that is. Yeah. That is Sandra Gregory. That is her name. So she used to watch uh, Sherry and I. So now she's followed me here uh, and watches. Uh huh. Yes. So, yeah. Well, if no one has any other questions, we're going to wait until next Thursday, obviously, uh, at our new time, I think at 8 30. So depending mm -hmm. on what happens for next week, you never know. Um, hopefully on Monday, Daniel Payne will return to do his normal readings of his uh, book, which I think I saw someone posted something about me giving you Daniel's books to read. Whenever you get bored and you want to read a good book, um, I should give you those books. So, especially for the ones that I'm in them. So, Good idea. You do need to read those books, by the way. So, Night maybe, Amber. Maybe uh, you'll make it into the second book. Maybe you will be in the book. 
I'm hoping to have someone replaced. That's what I'm hoping for, but I'll leave that for another day. I won't say anything more. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and share this video because uh, everyone needs to uh, be watching this show. It's the best one on Facebook and YouTube. So... Somebody wants to see this mug. <laughs> Don't forget, I got to show my mug on here too. So, uh, but I think that this is the best type of podcast or video streaming or uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nobody does talk radio anymore. Nobody really cares. So I think this is where it's at is, is video. Everyone sees you. Everyone is participating and chit-chatting with us and, and having a good time. So that's why I do it. So, yeah. Good night, uh, Chris. Yes. Um, good night, Ashley. Yeah, Everybody yeah. saying good night. Everyone's saying good night. And uh, so, yeah. So look out for Dan. If he has something, he'll make sure to post it. I'm pretty sure. I will be watching. Um, but for myself and Dacia, maybe, uh, you'll see us next Thursday. I got to cook something, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'll find something simple and easy, but, uh, that everyone can do as long as you have a crock pot. So, and it'll be my first time using a crock pot. See, I'm telling you, I'm going to be so glad to see you lose your virginity. Mm. Uh, Facebook Live. To a crock pot. Yeah. To a crock pot. Who knew, right? <laughs> so. All right. That is it. I'm out of here. Good. Technically, we have two minutes, but I'm not going to wait the two minutes. So uh, I think for next week's show, I'm going to cook something, something good, something fantastic uh, that everyone's going to want to try. So, and it's going to come from uh, Stephanie O'Day's cookbook. So it's going to be. Tasty. Well, I hope so anyways. So I don't really do a good job at cooking. So <laughs> this is gonna be something completely terrible and inedible. <laughs> Probably. Like Probably. like the food that wasn't you know real food before. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it was that you made. I made food. I made fake food. <laughs> fake no. food. All right. Yeah. All, All right. right. Happy night. Yes. So, everyone, have a fantastic night. We will see you next week. And uh, if you have any questions for us, please make sure to post them uh, and we'll respond. That is it. Good night. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay warm. Uh, Good night. Yeah. And stay safe. Stay home. You too. Wear your damn mask. And wash your hands. Yeah. Wash your hands. Oh, and you and better... wipe down your steering wheel, damn it. And yeah. you're shifting gear, everything. Wipe it all down. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I know. And like my sister, I, I, I heard a term today that um, you're concealing ha uh, Hanny. You'd be carrying Hanny with you or something. I can't remember what she, hand sanitizer, what they call uh -huh. it. Whatever. I, I have no idea. I'm done with that. But uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Good night. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.